Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company. Always great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I've got Antonio with me today and we're out here on Lake Ontario. We're going to do some flexi jig jigging. Now, you have on a hunch. He's a white. He's gone with a white. So that's actually a glow white flexi, uh, one ounce. And I've got the chartreuse flexi, one ounce. And as you know, the hook flexes down on the hook set which changes the angle on the flexi jig and gives you a great hook set. And I'm also running brand new Thunder Mist Schoolie swim bait. So it's actually a prototype, but by the time you see this episode, they will be available for sure. Now, because we're go we went with one ounce, we're gonna be fishing around 30 feet of water, 25 to 30 depending. And basically we're gonna drop straight down and just bounce the flexi jig off the bottom, let the baits work, and because we've got this one ounce jig, we're fishing the mouth of the Niagara River, you've got current here, so what happens is that allows us to fish more vertical and always be in control of where our jig is at all times. Very, very important when you're fishing river. This is a technique they use in the Detroit River exclusively. Basically, straight up and down, Feel your jig on the bottom, bounce it, let it hit, lift it up, bounce it, let it hit. Very, very simple technique. And if your jig is too light, the current's gonna take you, or you're gonna lose control. So that's gonna be the technique today. I've got the chartreuse head on. Antonio's got the white flexi. We're hoping to have ourselves a good day. So stay tuned, folks. Just as we finished saying, we just marked the fish. Yep. <laughs> what do you think you got? The way that it's staying down, I think it's a laker. Okay. Okay, we're in 30 feet of water right now. And what were you doing? Just jigging it off the bottom just, or are you swimming it? Just bouncing it up and down off yep. the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And whack. Trigger to hit. Well, that's what it is. Oh, nice colors on this laker. Is it a laker? Yeah. Okay. Really nice and orange. He is. You got really? a net ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at the color. Oh, that's a beautiful lake trout, Antonio. Oh, yeah, light. that's a really nice lake. Oh, beauty. Almost almost looks like one of the lake trout we would get up north. You know? That's a nice fish. Look at the colors on them. The brown tinge. Let's call it a brown tinge. Wow. Okay, he's all yours, Antonio. I wouldn't mind a photo. Okay, let's grab one. That's a beautiful fish to take a picture of. Gotcha. Great photo. What a nice fish. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Nice colors on it. Yeah, normally they're not like that here. But I see that really nice. It's almost orangey. Orange and white tips. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Okay, back in he goes. And back in we go. He came out of 30 feet. 30 feet of water. So it looks like, folks, the white flexi has struck first. Good hunch on your part. Yeah. It looks like the glow white flexi is on today. It is hot. Because we just dropped it right back down again. Unbelievable. Well, so that's why it's good to have different colors. I mean, I'm going to stick with the chartreuse, but if you get another one on that white, that's going to say something, right? Oh, that's a that's a big laker. Oh, that's a big laker. Look at the, si the size of that lake trout. Oh my goodness, Antonio, that's huge. I just left my line in there. I probably shouldn't have. Oh, that's a nice laker. Mm -hmm. Right in that. How was that? Holy, that's heavy. Thick one. That's big and thick and heavy. Wow. Now, not, not as nice colors as the last one, but that's huge. Listen to him burping. <laughs> burping now. Let's see if we can line in there. That's a huge laker. He came out of 25 feet of water. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at him. Holy. Wow, <laughs> that's a big lake trout. <laughs> oh, good for you, Antonio. Oh, uh, nice right. fish. 
Put her back in. And then back in. Wow. Woo. Okay. Well, the white is definitely on, that's for sure. But I'm sticking with the chartreuse. See if I can hook into one. Okay. So the chartreuse flexi has struck. It was just a matter of time. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I missed one. That <laughs> would have been a double. That would have been great. Oh, my. Now, I'm mentioning I'm bouncing this straight up and down. But these schoolies, you can you don't have to just jig them. They're also a swim bait. You can toss them out and swim them back. You can fish them on a jig or you can fish them on a hook, whatever you want. But right now, the bouncing off the bottom is working. So I'm we're sticking with it, that's for sure. Now I am also running, uh, I've got Thunder Braid as my main line, and I've got 15-pound Thunder Braid going to a 10-pound fluorocarbon leader. So I'm running actually one of my bass and walleye rods. Oh, he's starting to twist and turn out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Foot's on the net. My foot's on the net. And this guy is starting to <clears throat> realize that he's in trouble, I think. Now the rod is also, it's a one-piece rod. And I really like using one-piece fishing rods because they're more sensitive, they're stronger, they're overall better performing, that's for sure. This has got to be another lake choke, I'm guessing. And when I'm jigging, I also really like to use braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. I want that sensitivity on the jig and I also want that thin line and the strength and the no stretch when I go to set the hook. So that to me is a winning combination. And then of course with the fluorocarbon, it is less visible to fish. I never ever tie braid direct to my lure, never. Fish can see braid. Oh, gee, Antonio. No, I haven't. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Oh, world class fishing right here. Unreal. I have not seen them yet, which tells me it's got to be a lake trip. Did you notice how deep it was when he hit? I think it was 24 feet, I think. Okay, so I'm going to have to be very careful because the 10 pound leader is not that strong for these big fish. Should have probably went with a heavier leader line, but it is what it is. Oh, he's got me doubled right over too. Oh, <laughs> oh. This is an old fishing rod too, folks. One of my favorites. It's a Quantum Tour Edition rod, and I really, really like it. I don't even know if they're still making them or not. That's how old this rod is, but it's a good performing rod. I really like it. I just can't do too much here, Antonio. I'm gonna so you have, have a to. Ten pound leader? I have a ten pound leader. That's it. I know. I should have went with a fifteen pound leader to match my fifteen pound braid, but I didn't. Why didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> well, you did say it's your walleye. Rod. Yeah, that's why it was rigged up. I didn't want to say that, but it is my walleye bass <laughs> rod, so that's why it's ten pound. I should have tied on a new fresh leader though, right? That would have been the ideal thing to do. But on the other hand, I'm really enjoying this fight. And that's why we're out here today, right? Is to have some fun. Oh, this is unbelievable. That's that's like the third Laker in short, very short order. Oh, itchy eye, itchy eye. Okay, I think he's tiring. I, I am for sure tiring. Oh, he just keeps taking drag. He just keeps taking drag. All right, I'm gonna try tightening up on, on him just a bit. Oh wow, he's starting the head shakes now. He's starting the head shakes. Those head shakes were more like rainbow steelhead head shakes. But I don't think it's a steelhead. No. 
I just think it's a leak choke. Just a leak choke. I mean, <laughs> are you kidding me? Fantastic. There he is. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Nice. One handed net job. <laughs> One hand on the net. One hand on the rod. One hand on the rod. Okay, well, that for me is the first fish on the new prototype schoolie, schoolie bait. All right, and he just came off, which is fantastic. How about a quick photo for me, Antonio? Yeah. First fish for me on the new schoolie. I would love a picture of that. Here's your photo. Thank you, Antonio. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful lake trout. Not as big as the one you caught, but that's just a beauty. Okay. Time to release it. Right back in we get it. Long and thin fish. Okay. I tuckered him out, but not that much because he's gone. All right. Well, you know what, folks? We're just having a great day out here today. It is unbelievable fishing. Working jigs is a lot of fun. Whether you're vertically jigging, casting them out, bouncing them back, retrieving them in, whatever the technique, it's just it's plain and simple, a lot of fun. And if you haven't been out lately, by all means, you need to get out there and get a line wet. Take someone with you, introduce someone to fishing. Always a great sport, always a great time. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, good luck.